Hey guys, it's halfway through the week. Welcome to Charlotte Oasis. And today is Dogs in Politics Day, which actually has a historical reasoning. It On September 23rd, 1952, um, Nixon gave his speech about how he did not do, he denied the campaign um, abuse, um, the contribution abuse um, for his campaign today. In 1952 and it was called the checkers speech because his dog his cocker spaniel was used it was the first time that TV was being used in politics and he used his cocker spaniel to gain the trust of the American American people and to make them trust him and believe oh he couldn't have done that so today in honor of checkers is dogs in politics he I guess is the first politically famous pet so that's pretty cool but in 1945 Harry Truman was quoted saying that if you want a friend in Washington get a dog <laughs> couldn't be truer <laughs> I, I thought that was hilarious and I thought I'd share <laughs> it is also um restless leg day, awareness day um, and I've known people who have restless leg awareness and it causes other problems where they can't sleep they can't rest they just can't calm like be calm no pain no aches they can't just relax and it's so unfortunate I until you have it you don't realize how horrible it is and how it just ends up causing so many other problems so today is the day to spread the awareness of how bad that is. <laughs> I am so excited for this week to be over. Um, I'm just tired. And last weekend was rainy. And I think this weekend's supposed to be rainy. But I'm going to find something to do. I bought all of the materials to cutting a hole in my ceiling and making an attic entrance. And now I'm just too nervous to actually do it and actually cut the hole so I'm I think today I'm going to make the inspection schedule the inspection and hopefully that'll push me to actually doing it because I need an inspection for them to check out my roof so I can get my insurance to go down I think that's a common thing right but when I bought my house I didn't realize there was no attic entrance I think they when they had their inspections done they would just like cut a hole in the roof and then just seal it back up and not leave an attic entrance, which <laughs> I, I I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I bought drywall. I bought wood um, trim. I bought a, an appropriate saw, not a chainsaw <laughs> for the roof. So hopefully, um, maybe this weekend, hopefully I'll be able to do it. I'm going to try to get some advice from uncles and maybe neighbors, see what they think before I attack that task. You got to do your homework before you cut holes in your roof. <laughs> Ceiling, not the roof. I'm not touching the roof. <laughs> it is also Za'atar Day, which apparently is a Middle Eastern herb or, or um, mixed spice. I guess it's cumin, salt, some um, toasted sesame seeds. I've never cooked Middle Eastern food, but today's the day if you do cook Middle Eastern food to maybe use that spice and celebrate that spice. Um, it sounds good, so I bet it is good. <laughs> and then it is also Education Technology Day. So we can appreciate the technology that we have to educate our youngsters or people in college like me, like using Zoom. Actually, 2020 is the perfect year because we all had to go virtual <laughs> at one point or another. I know some people are back at brick and mortar, brick and, brick and mortar <laughs> schools. But um, I know I have to go back for my labs, but for the lectures, I stay in front of my computer to do the um, lectures and just do it via Zoom or Pandora. Pandora? I don't know. It's another version of it, I guess, but it has like really cool because you can like click on the slides and then it fast forward to the slide that you wanted to rehear. So it's actually really cool 
It's a little bit better than Zoom for academia when you're going over slides. Thought that I'd share a little tidbit about that. <laughs> Well, happy Wednesday, everybody. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.